Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Anzana Madganai, lecturer history by his high school school trial. Our today's topic for 12th class students of our institution of history subject is What is kinship? Discuss various forms of kinship. Dear students, let us define kinship first. The basic relation among individuals and persons on the basis of blood and marriage is known as kinship. Kinship in Urdu language means Rishtadari. Let's try to understand the, this concept, concept of kinship. First of all, there is a, this, a boy and a girl. And this boy and girl, after entering into marriage, become husband and wife. So, the first relation over here gets created on the basis of marriage. After marriage, the relatives of the husband and the relatives of the wife become relatives to one another. So, two unknown families become relatives to one another, become kins and relatives to one another on the basis of marriage. And then, after marriage, they sons and daughters are born to this husband and wife. As a result, blood relation gets created between the father, his son, his daughter or mother, her son, then, his, then her daughter. So, a, relation, a relationship or a kinship gets created on the basis of marriage and blood relations. And this relation, which gets created on the basis of blood and marriage, is known as kinship. And there are two main types of kinship. Number one is consanguineous kinship. Consanguineous kinship is that kinship in which only those individuals and persons are included who are kinless or relatives by blood relations only, like grandfather, uh, father, son, daughter, or grandmother, mother, daughter, or we can say brother, sister, you know, all these are the, uh, related to one another uh, by their blood relations. And so there are two basic uh, this uh, principles through basic, uh, we can say, uh, two pillars of blood relations from the matrilineal side and from the paternal side. Matrilineal side means the mother's side. We, as we have discussed it just now, like this grandmother, mother, or this da daughter, then from the paternal side, grandfather, father, eh? the son, you know? then brother, sister. So all these relations come with the category of, come with the framework of the consanguineous kinship. Number second is affinal kinship. Affinal kinship is that kinship in which in which a relation gets created on the basis of marriage between two families. By this marriage, not only the husband and wife become relatives, but all the relatives of wife become relatives for husband and the relatives of husband become relatives for the wife. So in this marriage, uh, there is a double increase in the number of relatives and affinal kinship we may include for example mother-in-law, father-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, daughter-in-law and all other relatives from the, from the husband's side and from the wife's side. This is what we call affinal kinship. Thank you.